Hello, Fountain Hills, and welcome to your real estate market report for October 2024. I'm Jed Williams with Hagen Realty, and with eight different Fountain Hills properties having updates this month, we've got a lot of ground to cover. So, let's get moving. We'll start off with 18711 Sparkling Water Drive, Unit 10. This two-bedroom, two-bath, 1,027-square-foot ground floor condo went coming soon on October 3rd and active on the 15th at $300,000 even. It was pulled off the market a few hours later and then relisted on the 18th. That usually happens when the listing agent sets a property up to automatically list on a certain day and then forgets about it, uh, then pulls the listing off the market to correct the mistake. It happens more often than you think. Regardless, the property was still on the market at month end after 15 days active. So we'll be checking back on them in November. 18801 Sparkling Water Drive, Unit 301. This two bedroom, two bath, 1,394 square foot penthouse condo went direct to active on October 5th at $349,999. A lot of nines. They raised the price by 10,000 and one to $360,000 on October 22nd. They were still active at month end at 27 days on market, so we'll peek back in on them again next month. 18825 Sparkling Water Drive, Unit 1F, is a two bedroom, two full bath, 1,027 square foot condo. It was listed and went under contract back in September. It was originally slated to close on October 10th, and then that was pushed to the 24th. And seemingly now, pushed into November, so we'll see what happens next time. 13532 Champions Way is a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, three-up end unit townhome that looks out directly over the baseball field in Fountain Hills Park. It went coming soon, active, and under contract in September. It closed on October 15th for $445,000, which was a full $25,000 over its 420 k list price. Sounds like a home run to me. 13501 Niagara Falls Court is a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath and unit townhome. It went straight to active on October 25th for $489,000. It was still active at month end at seven days on market, so we'll come back to this one again next month. 13320 Rising Sun Lane is a four-bedroom, Three and a half bath interior townhome. It posted as coming soon on October 4th and went active for $545,000 on the 19th. It was pulled a few hours later and then relisted on the 21st. <laughs> I told you, that happens fairly often. It was still active at month end at 12 days on market, so we'll see what November has in store for them. 13430 Rising Sun Lane is a three bed, two and a half bath and unit townhome. It went active all the way back in June for $575,000 and under contract in September after having 78 days on market and dropping 20 k to $555,000. They closed on October 4th for $555,000, but paying $10,000 in closing cost help to the buyer. That's $30,000 off the original asking price. And finally... We have 18921 Fountain Hills Drive, which is a three-bedroom, two-full, and two-half-bath, 1,900-square-foot single-family home. It was posted as coming soon on October 10th and changed to active six minutes later at $700,000 list price. On the 21st, it was pulled off the market and then relisted under a new listing ID, but at the same price on the 24th. Sneaky, sneaky, I see what they did there. Alas, it was still active at 20 days on market as of the end of the month. So we'll add this one to the list of properties we need to keep an eye on in November. For those of you keeping count, that was five new listings in Fountain Hills this month and zero new contracts. Not a great ratio, but most of those listed in the latter half of the month, so it's not really all that concerning. Still, I'm eagerly awaiting what November has in store. While October wasn't the best month for real estate in Fountain Hills, the Germantown market did quite well. Home prices were up 3.3% year over year in October, a 0.1% improvement over last month. I'd call that the healthy side of stable. 
like to think of myself the same way. Inventory remained relatively low, with 91 homes for sale at month end, but the real headline number was the 80 new contracts in October, which is just under the September figure. Normally, October sees a pretty steep drop in contracts, so that's a very good sign. Time on market was unchanged at 11 days on average, which is still quite fast. The listing failure rate, it saw quite a jump from 14.9% in September to 19.8% in October. That's pretty typical going into the colder months. So for me, the scariest part of October, uh, it wasn't all of the swifty trick-or-treaters. It was the fact mortgage rates shot up 85 basis points to close out the month at 7.09% for a conventional 30-year fixed loan. That's expensive. But be sure to check back next month for another Fountain Hills market report. Or if you'd prefer more timely updates, including all of the listing photos for each property, register at the link in the description and we'll set you up with a free automatic email anytime a Fountain Hills property hits the market, has a price change, goes under contract, or closes. And remember, if you or one of your Fountain Hills neighbors are looking to buy or sell, give me and my team a call. I'm Jed Williams with Hagen Realty from Fountain Hills. You'll be moved.